Hello again and welcome back. I am Jared Case, curator of film exhibitions at the Dryden Theater and the George Eastman Museum. And I've got another streaming recommendation for you. This week we are focused on holiday streaming films that you can watch at home with your family. I've got another classic for you today. The last time we showed it back in 2018 at the Dryden Theater, it was one of the biggest shows of the year, so it still shows the perennial popularity of this classic film. And that is White Christmas from 1954, directed by Michael T Curtiz. And this is streaming on Netflix this year, so you can see it on there along with your subscription. And much like Holiday Inn, which we recommended earlier in the year, this is an Irving Berlin musical starring Bing Crosby as one of a pair of performers who are going through a personal and professional change and that feature the one song that crosses over between the two films, White Christmas. Now, whereas Holiday Inn featured Crosby as uh, a man who, a performer who is about to retire and uh, run his own farm, and Fred Astaire as the partner who is trying to get him not to retire, this film features Bing Crosby as the workaholic, the one who always wants to be working, and Danny Kaye as his partner who's trying to get him to slow down, maybe smell the roses, and get a girl. Uh, distract himself from working all the time so Kay doesn't have to work all the time. They find this distraction in the pair of Rosemary Clooney and Vera Ellen, who they meet in Florida and help uh, escape their situation to get to their next gig in Vermont, where uh, these two army buddies find that the general that they served under uh, is actually running that inn, although not very successfully, so they surreptitiously try to mount a show there that will become popular and, and bring lots of people to his inn. So unlike Holiday Inn, which took place over an entire year, uh, White Christmas does, does take place just around the, the Christmas holidays, um, but it's also a, a color film as opposed to black and white, which Holiday Inn was. And it was the first Paramount film shot in VistaVision. Now, VistaVision uh, also used 35mm film, but unlike uh, most of the films that we, that most of the films ever produced, the 35mm film moved uh, vertically through the projector and through the camera. VistaVision used 35mm film to move horizontally through the camera, and there were a handful of prints made for projection in that very same way. But because they, they captured a larger image on the film, which created a better, better image on screen, using up that much film meant that it had to run at twice the speed that the vertical does. So vertical runs at about 90 feet per minute. The VistaVision had to run at 180 feet per minute. So very, very fast through the projector and it caused problems and new equipment and it certainly wasn't viable for uh, many many theaters so just certain theaters were equipped with these VistaVision projectors. Most of the 35 millimeter prints that were made of the film were put onto the 35 vertical and that's how we see it today although the aspect ratio is slightly different than what you would normally see uh, certainly as we got into 1953 and 1954 and aspect ratios were changing based on different uh, production companies and what they were putting out, the VistaVision can range from about 1.66 to 1, which is uh, something we would more closely associate with a European aspect ratio, to about 2 to 1. So you definitely, for each of these VistaVision films, you really should, as you're inspecting, look at this film and try to determine what the best aspect ratio to project it in is. We often go with 166 ourselves because we don't have uh, a 2 to 1 uh, aperture plate that we can put in and 1.85 might cut out too much of the image so 166 generally tends to be the aspect ratio that we go with. So when the Dryden does open up and it is getting to be around Christmas time perhaps we can bring White Christmas back to you again and you can make your own determination about what aspect ratio it should be. In the meantime, you can catch up with it this year on Netflix, stream it at home, and enjoy it for yourself. 
please come back for some more recommendations. We've got a couple more Christmas recommendations for you and a few more before the end of the year. Thanks a lot. And may all your Christmases be wild.